Well hello again everybody, welcome back and just thought I'd do a quick one today with parcels arrived, had a very busy postman this morning so we have, try not to show any addresses off but a whole load of envelopes and a nice big box so I have opened these just to make sure I knew what was inside but I thought I'd show it all off uh, so if we start with the box, this one's from Trekmaster30 so and this is from his giveaway he did so let's just get all these bits out of here and we have out of the way. We have the Sparrows reloading kit. So we have security pins, springs, I think those are actually anti-bump pins for something. We have the selection of keys which you can use for repinning the Sparrows locks if you wanted to, the training locks they do. We've also got the nice follower with the end for opening up the back of the Schlage cylinders and a couple of nice little pinning mats all with nice tin so that's definitely very useful and handy to have Uh, is also put in have a master lock padlock and this is actually a safety lockout lock so works very nicely key retaining six pins and it's actually been the safety lockout got a different keyway I've got a standard it's the 6835 they both are and if we look at the yellow one compared with the blue one you can see the difference in the keyway so that could be a little bit tricky to pick we look at the bitting, quite nice bitting, six pins. So that's going to be a bit of fun. And then we get on to the picks he made for me. This was the case was done by Pick Me 1977. And in here we have five picks that Trekmaster has made. All very nicely done so let's just get these laid out and we can see very nicely finished handles dipped handles and we can see those there so we've got a nice set of three different hooks and two slightly different deforest diamonds I do like deforest diamonds so they're going to come in handy and also one of these hooks, that one there, looks very, very similar to one of my favourite picks that I actually broke the other week. So I'm looking forward to having a play with that. But lovely set of picks and a lovely little case to put them in. So thank you very, very much for that. Very much appreciated. And I'm looking forward to having a play with them. Hopefully you'll be seeing these in some videos soon. So that was <coughs> the bits from Trekmaster. What do we have next? We have these envelopes. I'll keep the envelopes out of the way. I've got notes here as well. Uh, but this one is from Dr V on the UK Locksport Forum. And... <coughs> We have a Zoo Mark V. Can we see that? 
Euro cylinder number one which is made into a challenge lock and also let's see if we can I don't want to get all these out of the bags but if we can see those some very nice pins and those are for the to go into the oval locks for the uh, pick makers of the world unite so that was very nice so the pins are starting to come in right next one this one's all covered in addresses so keep that off camera and this is from hobby picker and he sent me a couple of challenge locks we have another one from Andy H97 can we see what that one's called just about so enough said about that and that's the key for it all mummified so no doubt that one will be seen sometime hopefully and we also have an ERA <coughs> six pin challenge lock from Leon's lock pad again with a mummified key so standard ERA but first one of Leon's I've had I think this might be the first lock he's made so that could be interesting let's see what that one's like and then finally empty all this lot out we have from the flying locksman who's also on the UK Locksport Forum. We have a whole selection of locks. Let's get these out of the way. What do we have here? We've got a Pfaffenheim Euro cylinder, which I've never had before. This one I'll have to be careful with. Uh, it's a kick cylinder but it's missing the back end on it, no name on it. It's got colour pins in there so it wouldn't surprise me. There's nothing on there whether that's actually a challenge lock or not. I don't know if we can see the red pin in there. So it looks like it's been repinned. So that could well be a challenge lock. <coughs> we also have this one here with no name but look at that key weight. Let me get that to focus. Looks quite fun. So, don't know if that's a challenge lock or not. Then we have a Vink House with a key this time. Reasonable bitting on it. There we go, that's better. And we have, I don't know if we can pick that up properly on there, it's PD4, which is one of his own challenge locks. It's a Yale, and if we can see the bitting on that, it's quite nasty, along with the Y1 keyway. So that one could be a bit of fun to get into, but it all works quite nicely. And also, a nice selection of pins can we get that to focus also for the pin makers challenge locks so looks like we have some pinning pins in there as well so they're going to be fun sticking some of these in the locks as well and looks like we've got some key pins in there as well pinning pins so, like I say, quite a busy postman today, but thank you to all of you for sending everything. And I'll have to get on with picking some locks. And start looking at getting some more of these pins in to make up the locks to send out. 
So anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.